What's going on guys? Good morning. Hold on. <laughs> this is my sister's car and her seat is so high up because she's so small. Good morning guys. What's going on? Today is December 27th, Tuesday. And I just wanted to tell you guys that PE Science is coming out with some new products today. So this is not a new product. <laughs> um, the regular amino acids from PE Science. I use them pretty much every single day. This flavor is called Peach Nectar and it's new and it's absolutely delicious. It's still not my number one flavor. Like my flavor rankings for amino IV are like Strawberry Breeze. This one is definitely a close second. It's really, really good. If you guys really like the amino IV from PE Science and you wanna try the new flavor, it's out today. You can use my code. Um, if you guys have never tried it before, I highly, highly recommend it. I stand by these products a thousand percent. Um, anything that I talk to you guys about promoting or whatever, um, I stand by 100%. So I've been with PE Science for like two years now and this is a new flavor if you guys are interested. Last thing, if you guys are interested, PE Science came out with a new pre-workout and I've been showing this to you guys because I went to headquarters back in November and they gave me this <laughs> um, and I've been using it lately and it's like really, really good. Um, for two scoops, it has six grams of L-citrulline in it. There is 320 milligrams of caffeine in two scoops, but if you want to take one scoop, it's 160 milligrams of caffeine. And the only difference between this and like the other two pre-workouts, Alphamine is a thermogenic fat burner, so this that's the caffeinated stimulant pre-workout that you would be taking, but this has no fat burner or thermogenic in it. And then High Volume is the non-stimulant pump product. One, if you didn't want any stimulants, you would be taking that one, but this one has the pump enhancing ingredient inside of it. So this is essentially an all-encompassing pre-workout product, so I'm gonna head to the gym now, and it's my last day in Rhode Island. I have the day, gonna get my workout in, hang out with the family, I'll talk to you guys later. through my uh, leg and a little bit of upper body workout today. So I just realized this now that I'm editing, but I was doing a couple of my favorite glute exercises in this uh, leg day today. So you see me here doing sumo squats with the kettlebell. So the kettlebell is my favorite. You can just keep the weight like directly underneath you like you're supposed to, keeping your shoulders directly behind the kettlebell and just keeping your toes pointed out, squeezing at the top. I absolutely love that. Um, glute ham raise is definitely one of my other favorite glute hamstring exercises. I'm not bending all the way forward as you guys can see here. Like I don't bend my entire body forward. I keep the range of motion really, really short. So today is my leg and shoulder hypertrophy day and normally I'm doing sets of nine or 10 for squats, but my back kind of hurts a little bit today. I did some really heavy deadlifts the other day. Sorry, heavy squats the other day. Deadlifts yesterday, two days ago, whatever. I slept on the couch last night because I don't have a bed at home anymore. So I'm just gonna auto-regulate a little bit, use the leg press machine and some other leg equipment in here to do my leg hypertrophy day. So we're gonna do that. And then just, I have heavy deadlifts tomorrow, so I wanna like save my back for those tomorrow. So we're just gonna do some other leg and shoulder work today. And a wide stance leg press is absolutely another one of my favorite glute hamstring exercises. I'm using the slingshot hip circle here, so it's a really taut resistance band. I talked about this before, but keeping it right around your ankles like that and keeping your feet really wide on the leg press and uh, toes pointed out just helps hit the glutes a little bit better than it would if you didn't have the resistance band or if you had a neutral stance. So um, another one of my favorite glute hamstring exercises is this isolated hamstring curl machine. So you can really focus on squeezing. I don't even have any weight on this thing, but I just focus on that muscle mind connection for the most part. I just really focus on squeezing, not letting any of the tension go from my glutes or hamstrings during the movement and not releasing tension at the bottom. So that was my favorite glute exercises. I think there was four of those there. So from there, I just moved on to doing a little bit of abs and upper body, and this is my favorite. I just picked a lot of my favorite exercises to do today, honestly. Um, my favorite ab exercise, so the cable crunch, I do between 90 and 100 pounds on this, and I just really focus on squeezing and getting a really good contraction, uh, holding it at the bottom a little bit and just making sure that I feel it in my abs as much as possible. So moving on from there, I did a uh, shoulder press. I wanted to get a little bit of shoulder work in, a little bit of isolated shoulder work. Um, and uh, my favorite is uh, the uh, seated dumbbell overhead press. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little workout today. This workout is done. I think I'm the hungriest girl ever right now. So I didn't really eat much for breakfast. I had like a bite meals cookie. It was really small. It was just like 20 carbs, a little bit of protein, a little bit of fat. So stomach is hungry. 
All right, having some egg whites, turkey sausage, and pancakes. This is, yes, it's a bite meals meal, but I am so hungry and it's already ready to go. Um, I just have to heat it up, but I am gonna have a little bit of this apple. It's like candy apple and it's literally so good. There's like candy crumbles all over it. I'm gonna have like one little slice of it. Not that little of a slice, but. This place is the best place ever. Hey guys, we're walking through the airport. Last flight for like six whole weeks. I'm staying in Los Angeles for six weeks until my next trip and I'm really excited about it. It's been a while since I've been like home home. Just stayed there, <laughs> didn't go anywhere. So oh, I'm already at my gate. That's cool, I need to find it after. Um, yeah, it's been a while, so I'm really excited about it, but it's been really, really nice to be home. Um, I'm gonna talk to you guys in just a second. All right guys, so I'm at the airport right now, and I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my experience being home this time around. And it's been a few months since I've been home, and every single time I come home, sometimes I don't, I don't really connect a lot to being back on the East Coast. I really, like my whole entire life is now on the West Coast, my friends and everything, but my, my whole entire family is here. And every time I see my family, I just feel so different and like humbled, honestly, just because like, like being away from them, I, I wouldn't want to live elsewhere, but like just coming back to them, it just like reminds me how much is going on that's like outside of my little like bubble of life, I guess you could say. Like my grandma's not doing so well, like just like, she has some like breathing issues and some walking issues and then um, just like seeing everybody else's life kind of happen and it just makes me like really really happy that I have such an amazing family and amazing support system back at home um, and I love being able to like come home and spend time with them because it just reminds me how like like where my roots are and like why I started everything and I just wanted to let you guys know that um, Emily Hayden's grandmother. Um, Emily Hayden, if you don't, if you guys don't watch her, she's another fitness YouTuber, and she's one of my absolute best friends. And she's one of my absolute best friends in the whole entire world. Um, her grandmother back in Texas, her house burned down in an electrical fire and she lost absolutely everything. And her dog even passed away in that fire, it was on December 21st. So um, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box, but she needs money, she needs finances. And um, I donated and just like the fact that I'm able to donate and not even just me personally able to donate, I'm able to like share with hundreds of thousands of people the fact that this woman needs help, This she needs money. Um, she needs like some sort of support from more people than just her reach can reach even more than just Emily's even more than just mine like hopefully by me sharing this more people will be able to see it and more people will be able to share it so it kind of just helps me realize what I'm here for and like what my purpose is not just for that purpose but like if that ever happened to my family I would love to be able to absolutely just Put what I have and give it to them and help them with whatever is going on in their life and just being able to like share something like that with a lot of people that's like reminds me of my purpose so it's just really humbling being home and I'm really happy that I get to go home as much as I do I was able to see my family five times this year even though um, we live on opposite sides of the country now so I just wanted to share that with you guys and I'm headed home to Los Angeles now I'm super excited to be back there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff going on in the next six weeks so I'm going to be really busy working on my website, working on some um, the podcast stuff coming up. I have a lot of interviews planned with people. The LA Fit Expo is coming up. My powerlifting meet's coming up. I have like so much stuff going on. So I'm really excited to be back in Los Angeles and uh, enjoy the new year, bring in the new year. Brian's coming this weekend to ring in the new year with me before he heads to the bodybuilding.com spokesmodel search. If you guys didn't watch me last year, I was in that last year, that same exact contest that he's in this year, so it was really cool to be able to see him go through the whole process. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much.